How should I fix my build-up problem? If I don't sprint, I'm slow, and if I sprint, then I'm fast, but my passes are not calculated. I need some tips on this. Someone please help. Your boy's here. Three men, three men around him, and somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! Oh! It's a display there. absolutely ridiculous. The on the goal line. Again, I'm taking comments from you guys and we're making tutorials on them. So, if you want to be featured in the next one, don't be shy. I know it can be quite contradicting. It's like the rushing contradiction where I say don't rush, but I want you to be fast and quick with your tempo in the build up. People think you're telling me not to rush, but you're telling me to be quick. What do you mean? Well, essentially what I mean by that is you're not rushing forwards on goal as quick as you can. You're building it up, you're going back, you're taking your time, but your passing tempo is quick. Now, it's a very similar contradiction with this one. I tell you not to sprint to slow things down, but I also tell you that you need to be quicker, right? In terms of your passes and building it up. Well, it's about exploiting the space. And I did a tutorial on this and what pros do all the time. They're always looking at the space and exploiting it when they can. And they'll use any form of speed boost to do so. That's what you want to focus on. When you're building up, don't sprint. But if there's space in front of you, sprint into it. Okay, and it also takes you guys learning how much sprinting you can do before the opponent will actually be able to tackle you. Okay, if you're in the midfield, the likelihood that you sprint, let's say, two or three times, and in terms of times, I'm talking about touches. So the amount of touches you take whilst you're sprinting, there's a good likely, there's a like, there is a big chance the opponent will be able to tackle you if you do at least more than three. And that's where you need to take into consideration where you are on the pitch. Are you in behind? Can you sprint in behind into the space? The majority of the time you can. So you can sprint a lot longer and take more than three touches on the sprint. But if you're in the midfield, it's not a very good chance that you'll keep the ball because the touches are large and the opponent will have a higher chance of tackling you because there's more defenders in that area. It's about learning when to stop sprinting, but it doesn't mean you can't sprint. You need to just look at the space and build up through that. You see, when it comes to coaching, I always set rules for my clients and one that's key is not sprinting. And I'll make them do that for a long time before I let them again. Until they actually learn the fundamentals and knowing when they can sprint and when they can't. Because you're better off not sprinting if you don't know when to sprint. So, it's about experimenting, knowing how long you can sprint for, and burst into the space when you can with any form of speed boost. Whether that's a step over speed boost, the... Uh, explosive sprint or something or other. But that will sing at the end of it. It's short but sweet. I hope it answers the question. Again, don't hesitate by chucking your comments down below and like and subscribe. It's free guys and I'm working my ass off to upload tutorials for you. I'm also coaching. I've just added a lobby which allows you guys to request tutorials for me to personally make for you. Check that out. The link is down below and yeah, I'll, I'll upload personal tutorials for you. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out, sign on. Au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.